Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fishing. Today let's talk about what to use to test your water. Grab yourself a healthy snack and a beverage. Stand by. Welcome back to the channel, Fishy Folks. Today we're going to be talking about testing water, specifically the method that I use. And of course, this did come from a Facebook uh, conversation I had with someone. Nothing bad, just it was an idea. And so, um, let's talk about tests. There's two main kinds of tests that we can use. There are more, but these are really the most common. The first are liquid tests, and the most common in the hobby in the United States is the API Master Test Kit. And this is the instruction booklet. It's in a few different languages. This is the color chart. I'm sure everyone that's watching this video um, is familiar with this. It's about 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll have a link down below. Uh, if you're not gonna buy it on Amazon, I certainly recommend going to your local fish store and buying it. Pay a few dollars more than the big box stores if you have to. But let's support our local fish stores if we can. If you're in a very rural area and you can only go with Amazon, then go to Amazon. It's, it's not that big a deal. So the liquid tests, um, very accurate if used correctly. It tests a few different things. It tests pH, it has a, a normal pH range and a high pH range. It tests ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. So it really has four things it tests for, and those are the four most common things you would test for. Now, that said, um, it's very popular. Most of the hobby use it or have used it at one point, I would say. And everybody knows what you're talking about. If you show a picture of the, the glass tubes with all the colors in them, most people don't even need the chart to know what those colors mean. It's just how it is. It's very popular. Now the test comes in this fancy box, which you can see I've just thrown everything in there. It comes with the color chart and instructions. It comes with these little glass test tubes and all the liquid test kits. Most of the tests you need two separate uh, liquids to make the test work correctly. And uh, a simplified dumbed down version is you put X amount of water in the tube, you put X amount of drops and X amount of drops, you shake it and wait 60 seconds or whatever the time frame may be. It comes up with a color, you match it to the chart and that tells you what you got. <coughs> now again, very popular in the hobby. Most people say this is the, the best way to test your water. It might be. Um, there are other liquid test kits available in the United States. Nutrifin has one and there's a couple other ones. Sarah has one. They're not very popular in the United States. They're also big test kits that test many other water parameters, especially if you have a marine tank. But in the United States, the API master test kit, I would say is the gold standard of liquid tests. Now, the other way we can test our water is with test strips. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself. Mike, test strips are so inaccurate I've read on the interwebs. And those people that I've never met before and have no idea about their history say they're not accurate, so I believe them. I mean, that's just dumb to believe something without knowing who's saying it, but that's a whole nother rant. So test strips historically have been more inaccurate than the liquid test kit, especially the API master test kit. Now, you can certainly use this inaccurately and, and not get good results. I've seen it many times. Here's the thing with test strips, folks. I've done a couple different tests with different brands, and in my experience, test strips can be just as accurate as the liquid test. The reason why people think they're, they're not accurate is, there are brands that aren't accurate. I've tested the API test strips and they suck in my opinion. I've tested other brands. I've had companies send them to me. I'll put a link to that video up here and they suck. But early on in my fish keeping career, um, when I started watching Corey from Aquarium Co-op, as you can tell by the shirt, he had like 5,000 subscribers back then. It's when he first moved into his original house and uh, he was building his first room and I was loving his content. And he mentioned test strips and I thought, what, Corey's using test strips, is he stupid? And then my head did some brain thinking. I was like, wait, he has a business, he's been doing this a while, he trusts his business to test strips, they must be accurate enough. 
And he was using Tetra test strips at the time. This is years ago. 5,000 subscribers. What are you up to now? A couple quadrillion? Anyway, I went out and bought the, the Tetra test strips. I trusted him and, and uh, you know, they worked just as accurately as my API master test kit when used correctly. There are other brands, like I said, that aren't as accurate in my opinion that I found using them, but the Tetra ones were really good. I don't know, a couple years ago, uh, Corey mentioned to me that he was having his own test strips developed after doing some testing. And uh, I don't know, about a year or so ago, they came out maybe longer, here they are. Uh, Aquarium Co-op sent these to me at no charge. I am a brand ambassador for Aquarium Co-op. I do speak very highly of them because I like most of what they do. Um, but as always, I am only honest when it comes to reviews. So let's talk about the Aquarium Co-op test strips. Uh, when I got them, I tested them immediately against Tetra test strips. They were just as accurate. And I tested them against the API Master Test Kit, same exact readings across the board. Except for a few small things. The uh, Master, or sorry, the Multi Test Strips by Aquarium Co-op tests more than the API Master Test Kit. So it tests nitrite, nitrate, GH, KH, pH, and chlorine. Why is that important? Well, I keep live bearers. So GH and KH is pretty important. Chlorine itself usually isn't a problem. However, I have had mysterious whole tank deaths and I've tested with the test strip and found chlorine, which either means the city added excess chlorine to the water for whatever reason, or my carbon block filters are on their way out and I need to change them. It's really the first one. I've never had the second one happen, but whatever. So it's important to test for chlorine too. And for me, keeping live bearers, GH and KH is pretty important, especially if I'm looking to breed. So here's the chart for the API master test kit, but and here's the chart for the uh, aquarium co-op multi strips. So there's a strip that tests one, two, three, four, five, six different things, and then a separate test for ammonia. And you guys might be saying to yourself, but why is there a separate test for ammonia? They're just making us spend extra money. <coughs> I'm fine. The reason is very simple. The chemical on the pad for ammonia would make most of these tests of the multi-strip useless, inaccurate. So they have to separate them, okay? Let's take a look at one of these test strips, folks. Now, I've used these for a while. Uh, I don't test my water normally, but I do. I was testing these before I made this video. Um, the test strip is pretty, I mean, it's like every other test strip. I personally cut them in half lengthwise so I get twice the amount of strips. You know who told me that trick? Corey from Aquarium Co-op. <clears throat> Couple things with the aquarium co-op test strips, actually any test strips, it's very important. Keep them as tightly closed as you can. Open them, take your strip out, close them tightly. One of the things that makes these degrade and become inaccurate is moisture. My fish room is filled with moisture because there's 60 tanks here, right? I'm sure near your fish tank is also filled with moisture. So make sure you open, take out quickly, close tightly. The instructions are very simple. They're on the back of this little card. They're also on the container. Uh, basically, you put them in the water, you swish them around for three seconds, you remove it, and set a timer for 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, you read the test strip. Let's go ahead and test some water. What tank you say? How about this one down here with, I don't know, a hundred, here, let me show you. I don't know, a hundred lemon blue eye plecos? I don't know. So here we go. We're gonna dip it, watch this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Hey Alexa, set a timer for 60 seconds. Sure, what's my new notification? Amazon 
Two shipments. Uh, I have a garden out back that I, I set up a drip emitter system for, um, but it wasn't, the, the pressure was enough to do the whole garden, so I had to get another timer to run a second line. The other thing I got, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a video on is, I have, you know, I'm in the basement and my washing machine and dryer's right next door, and they drain into a sump, and then that gets pumped up to street level. And all the water drains in the same sump from my fish room. Well, I'm getting some water on the floor, and I have to redo the area, so I just bought a whole new uh, sump pump with, you know, system all together. Anyway, we'll see if I do a video on that. Test strips are working. They're cooking, if you will. Uh, I'm also gonna test... Alexa, stop the timer. Let's check our test strip. Now, these test strips, I hope you can see that. It has this nice little, nice little chart or, or section where you put the, the test strip. So let's read these together. Nitrate, 25 parts per million. Oh no. Oh no, what do I do? Nothing, don't do anything. Nitrite, zero. Hardness, 150. Hard water's good for live bears. Live caught, live caught. F uh, 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 what the heck is, not tank raised. Wild caught, wild caught plecos, probably not so much. But they're not wild caught, they're tank bred. Uh, my KH is very, very low, 40. My pH is also low at 6.4, and the chlorine is zero. And that's that. Let's, let's do ammonia next. The test for ammonia is very similar, except you only, uh, you basically hold this test strip in the water and swirl around for 30 seconds. Then you remove the test strip and check immediately. Instructions are on the back. No need for me to go over them. There's just one pad on here. Here we go. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, starting now. What method do you guys use to test your water? Let me know down in the comments below what method you use and have you ever tried test strips? I know that in a lot of the fish groups on Facebook, especially the beginner groups, they don't like test strips. But we gotta teach them. We gotta teach them what's right. You gotta teach them that there's more than one way to do something. A lot of people in those groups don't have enough knowledge to really be giving advice, but they feel like they, they should, so they do. Alexa, stop the timer. There's our thing. Put it up against our chart, and you can see. It looks like I have a little ammonia in that tank. I'm gonna have to do something. What should I do? I could do a fishing cycle and just add some Fritz Complete, or do a water change, or do nothing, which is what I'm gonna do, nothing, because the beneficial bacteria will catch up. Um, yeah, I mean, a fishing cycle, add some Fritz Complete for a couple days, it's probably the best way to go. In fact, that's what I'm gonna do. When I'm done, if I remember. So folks, Aquarium co-op test strips are my preferred method for testing water. If you use another brand of test strip and it works for you, great. If you've had bad luck with test strips, I'm sorry. Use the API Master Kit, there's nothing wrong with it. I just think it's a little bit more time consuming for the accuracy. Is it more accurate? Maybe. If used in the scientific method it was designed for. But these are almost idiot proof. Again, the most important thing, keep them tightly sealed, only take out the strip you need, and cut them in half to get extra strips. When I was testing water regularly with them, I would take a strip out, I'd cut it in half, I'd put the half back, close it tight, use it. That's what I did. Again, what you do is fine. All right, folks, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like what you saw, you found it uh, educational and or entertaining, Please tell all your friends. Share it on your socials. And uh, I really appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below what method you use to test your water. Have a great day.
she uh, phlegm hiya fishy folks and welcome back to michael's fish room today let's talk about testing your water and the best method in my opinion testing your water that doesn't make any fucking sense many years ago when i first started i used the tetra band tetra brand Alright fishy folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk, talking, 